gross. <laughs> I think I slept a bit last night. I don't know. Just restless as usual. And it was, um, yeah, it was just raining on and off. Um, just lightly, nothing major. It seems to have stopped now. Which is good. I'm trying again with my coffee because... I had like the coffee in there and it was just like cooling down and then when I went to grab it to drink it I like opened this door and there were like heaps of mozzies in here so I've tried to like shoo them away and I've knocked my pot and spilled coffee like all in on the ground sheet and it just ran like all the way down there so I had to wipe that up so yeah this is coffee take two Lucky I had an extra sachet, so that leaves me with two for the remaining two mornings on the trail. But yeah, I'm mostly, uh, mostly packed up. I really wanted to sleep in this morning because I know I've got like a heap short day. So I thought, yes, I'll have like a sleep in. Slowly get up, hit the trail at like 10. <laughs> but no like of course the birds wake me up and then like the rain and then yeah yeah I might still make it it's quarter past nine <sighs> I can finally relax with a coffee that I haven't spilt <laughs> yay <laughs> well I am setting off at ten past ten <laughs> And yeah, just gonna take my time today. Should be, well, won't be easy because I'll have beach walking, but at least the distance is short. <laughs> Down for a nice beach walk. Waikinga Beach. right down here now. I have to come down here to walk through that because I've got like real deep and wide. It runs all the way up through there. Definitely gonna have to watch out for the exiting trail marker. I actually uh, <laughs> imagined it to be quite warm by the time I got down here. I thought, yeah, I could go for a swim. And um, even though it's definitely not cold, and I'm warming up because I'm moving, I doubt very much I'll be going for a swim today. <laughs> there is a marker. the marker and a bit of a trail up there. I'm just trying to find the best way through the rocks. I had to put the uh, poncho on up the top there in between the beaches because then um, it started raining on me. not at the moment so I think I might take it off. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Mud. Always always mud. Um yeah. This is kind of 
kind of annoying. I can't quickly grab my camera. Second snake of the hike, and now it's gone somewhere. I don't know, so I'm going to keep walking. Ooh. And uh, <laughs> make some noise. <laughs> you just don't really expect to see them like on a day like today out, but. I guess the rain doesn't mean much to them. It's shitty weather though, like it's not overly warm. But yeah, they are out and about. Check out these rocks. Crazy. <laughs> Rock crossing, glad it's not pissing down rain and they're slippery, but it was fine. Looks like we've got yeah, along here for a while. Hmm, crazy rocks. <laughs> Peckish, so I thought I'd stop and eat this apple that I have from uh, Hudson Dress. Um, yeah, so I'm using a sitting on a style which is covered in bird shit, so I have my tie back down. <laughs> um, Yeah, I put my hand in something earlier on top of a star. It wasn't, it wasn't great. Not a bad view. I'll we'll have a snack though. So, third last day of my hike. I've been carrying a spare one of these um, in case this broke. Because I'm like, you know, opening it, like using it like multiple times a day sometimes. Um, especially lately when I've had like my phone in my tripod. Um, so then I've been carrying my trekking poles because normally my trekking poles go in there. So here's my spare and I've like just now thought <laughs> I'll attach that one and that way I don't have to carry my trekking poles if I don't want to so I can have my you know tripod and phone tucked away in one and trekking poles in another and carry nothing so yeah Ooh. it only took me a little while to decide to do that but uh there you go <laughs> i haven't come across a sleepy in ages hey You're right, I'll try and walk around. <laughs> mm. This is a cool little section. Across this hill creek. Hmm. Heading away from the ocean into the countryside now. Well, this section has been a bit boring. I'm getting hungry again. It's been raining on and off. See looking toy hunts. I've reception here so I can actually pay 
heavy for this. Hmm. I like platforms around, which I'll have to have a sus because I don't understand how you can set up a tent. And it looks like, yeah, numbered, numbered tent sites around the place. Hmm. This is cool. Might just set my tent up in here. Hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sound of a full running creek. <laughs> Pretty. I might um, jump online and book a site, but um no one else is here, so I'm thinking I might just set my tent up in here. <laughs> and then if someone does come, I can almost move out, move on to the site that I book. But yeah, I'll go have a sus and um, pick one out. But yeah, I might just camp in here. cool is this? Charging my phone as we speak. <laughs> well, I just finished charging my phone, which is awesome. And um, yeah, I've actually uh, had my dinner already and um, I'm just boiling the water for my hot chocolate, which is probably done. <gasps> Bit more because it's windy, I guess. I don't have any. I don't have anything, any wind blocks at the moment. I don't even know which way it's coming from. Mm. But yeah, I'm sure glad I have this shelter. Because... Yeah. 
it's uh, quite wet up there. So uh, yeah, here I am, <laughs> set up behind me there in the under the shelter here. It's um, yeah, it's really nice. Um, they've done a good job. Uh, yeah, like the charging outlets and the sink. It's got like a normal tap and a high tap. Um, so yeah, they've kind of thought of everything. Um, I've uh, <laughs> taken over the wall with my washing. And um, I've actually had a visitor. I had a guy like just rock up around the corner there and I was like oh hey and um, he he was like drinking a can of something and um, yeah apparently he was just one of the shearers from across the road um, the sheep station there and um, I'll do and um, Yeah, so we were chatting for a bit, he just came down in here to have a look. Um, so, yeah, it's somewhat um, unsettling knowing that, you know, there might be people around now that know that I'm just here, down here, by myself. Um, with no reception because I told him that I haven't booked a site because I haven't got a reception um, but <coughs> I don't know if he noticed my Garmy hanging up there or not um, it would have been good if like I got a message and that had gone off while he was here because then um, he would have realised that I'm like still in contact with the world but uh yeah oh well I did message Ben and tell him that if he didn't hear from me in the morning that's why <laughs> but yeah I'm probably gonna sit out here now and have my hot chocolate and then uh retire to the tent and uh hopefully get a fair bit of editing done Obviously, the more I can get done tonight, well, and I've got tomorrow night as well, the less I have to do after I finish the trail. So, yeah, um, naturally I'm behind, so I'm still trying to play catch up. Um, but yeah, that's probably about it for day 54. I don't know. That doesn't, that doesn't make sense. I'm meant to finish on day 57. I'm pretty sure I only have two days of hiking left. Mm, I don't know, I've confused myself. Anyway, so yeah, that's about it. Pimple. Mm. Anyway, <laughs> stay tuned for tomorrow. See ya.